You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I, if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm really starting to think <gasps> you're full of shit. Behind you! What the fuck? Ah! Ah! Jesus Christ! That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere! That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. There. That piece of shit? It's half built. We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. I'd just like a place to sit, if I'm honest. As long as there's food, who cares what it looks like? You're not gonna think that when you wake up with a couple inches of snow covering you. Are we just gonna walk over? Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Можно идти. Там твердый. Это American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fun. I go first. I can be front. Maybe we shouldn't clump together. We just can't have too much weight. She's right. We need to spread out just to be safe. Less weight the better. Let the Rusky go first since he's so confident. It's okay. We're okay. Don't worry. We got some walkers behind us. It's only a few of them. We should be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. Fuck. That's two less to deal with. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! Uh, Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! I should let you drown, you piece of shit! No! Kenny! Don't hurt him! Well, they made it. Don't come over here. Hey, I can make it. It's it's fine. You sure? Yeah. You got walkers on the way. Let me help it's too you. Too thin for both of us. I just. I just gotta be careful. Whoa! No, no! Stop! Stop! I'm fine! I'm fine! No, you're not! I just gotta pull myself out. You need help, Luke! The ice is too thin. I got it. You need to help. No! Clem, you're gonna go! Fall through. Go help no, him! No, Clem, Clem, do not! Just go back for him. You're light. You Stop can do telling it. her that! Clem, look at me. Pull out your gun. And shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time. Clem, you can make it, but you need to go. No. Now. Clem, it's too dangerous. He's gonna yeah, die, I just need Clem. some more time. You guys gotta hurry. Just fall through. I can figure I it out. Do it, Clem. What? Thanks. Thanks. 
I'll be on a sec. Just, just keep shooting. Not gonna make it. Uh, my, my, my leg. I just, I just Hold need on. A, I got you. Rest a sec. Uh, keep him off us, Pam. No, no, it's too much. Too shut much. Up, shut up. I got you. I got you. Luke. I got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're gonna be okay. Go. To the house. We need a fire. Oh, fuck. She's gonna fucking freeze to death. How the fuck did that happen? There's a fireplace. Jesus Christ. We have to get the morgue. They're gonna freeze to death. He's just gone. Luke's fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. God damn it. The ice. It was too thin. I just... Once that ice started to go, there wasn't nothing any of us could do. You could have... You could have helped him. Don't listen to her, Clem. This ain't on you. You son of a bitch! This is your fucking fault! Kenny, don't, man! Don't what? It's nobody's damn fault. The hell it ain't! <sighs> I'm freezing. Can we just get a fire started? Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit, too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. You fucking commie piece of shit, Teddy! Fuck you. You mother! Fuck what the uh, fuck, Kenny? Piece of shit! Kenny, stop it! your taste for this sort of thing? What did you do to him? There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is gonna help How is beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? This is your fault. And you damn well know it. I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? He's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh... You got a light? I thought I had matches. You kept it.
Let me take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but... It just hasn't felt this... this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn it. <sighs> I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. <sighs> Always does. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth a crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up and be out of here by nightfall. Yeah, sure, Kenny. That's the spirit, darling. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? You shouldn't have done that to Arvo. I know. I know, Clem, but, but Luke... I don't care. You can't do that. Jesus, Clem, you know me. You know I'm not like that. You scared me. You scared all of us, Kenny. It won't happen again. That's a promise. It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, all right? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son bitch. But he taught me respect. Girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. I like her. Just give her some time. Maybe you're right. Hell, I didn't know what to make of Lee at first. Of course, he helped me and mine more times than I can remember. Jane helped us back on the road. All right. Give it a turn. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Now, those rumors can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's gotta be something out here other than... Snow and goddamn Euro trash. What about Mexico? Why? You want a taco? I've never been there. I went once, long time ago, just before I met Cap. All right, turn it again. 
Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> we'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. Wish they'd finished this place. Looks like it's about to collapse. Looks broken. Busted. What do you want? I'm sorry about Luke. Sorry. It must be nice being a pretty little girl. No one ever expects you to do a damn thing. You and I both know you had a chance to save Luke. You and I both know what happened back there. I got nothing more to say to you. And Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! I've seen that look before. Son of a bitch! I I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Probably had a nice job, and a nice, pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. We can still make this work. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. I guess we're getting close. That's what worries me. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car, hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. 
Lost four people before we got him out. All that for one person? That's what I'm saying. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. It works? What'd I tell you? So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? Not much. We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're gonna freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? The fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry, we did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. Nah, man, this is fucking nuts. We don't have to leave right now. Let's just sleep on it. Well, that sounds sensible. Damn it, we don't have time. Says you. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arvo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. Better him than another one of us. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! You can't just walk away from us! You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. God damn it. God damn it! That stupid fucking... Get the fuck out of here! It's me! Clem. Sorry, just... Give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. Well, why can't we just leave tomorrow? Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem. Think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. Maybe he shouldn't have. Don't you say that. I ought to slap you. You know what he sacrificed for you? What I did? That means something, damn it! I wish Lee was here. What you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me 
to try to keep the group together. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew, and what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now, grown up. Uh, I felt pride, a pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Something has to be out here. We'll find it, Kenny. I knew I could count on you, Clem. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on, let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. Easy. Easy now. Step back. Clem. Shit. What are you doing? I got the rest of it. Clem. We're just leaving. Now keep it down, all right? Nobody else has to get involved. Where are you going? Anywhere but here. What do you mean? Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem. Okay? Who? Kenny? Clem, damn it, just... We don't have time for this. Just... Just be quiet, Clem, please. Just a bad dream, sweet pea.
What was it about? Duck? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. When I was a kid, I never got sick. But my brother always had something. I always thought he was faking it. It's not like a cold. No, it's probably not. I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. He didn't mean it. Lee? Hmm? Why did Lily do that to Carly? I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. Have you ever been that angry? One time. Clem, people don't always make sense. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. What do you think? Should we have left her behind? No. Maybe we should have. I don't know. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Yeah, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes... That means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That I won't have to hurt anyone. Everything's gonna be alright. Let's try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. On the left! Slow down! Shut up! She's awake! Hey, you. Clem! Oh, thank God! You passed out from the shock. We've been worried as hell! Where are we? Been driving a few hours now. We had to run the truck to keep you warm. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? He never should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. Is Bonnie okay? They took off on foot. Didn't get this puppy thanks to you. 
Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to Howe's. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. And it was overrun by a damn herd. The walkers should be gone by now. It's miles in the other direction. Wellington's out there. We have to keep looking, Jane. Clem, you can't be falling for this. She made up her mind, Jane. Clem, please. This is suicide. Why don't you let her think for herself for once? Why don't you? Me? Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You wanna die out here? Better than waiting to die next to you. Leave him alone, Jane. No, Clem, it's fine. Let her run her mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Don't you fucking talk about them! This isn't the time for this. No, this is exactly the time for this. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Who could love you? Look at you. You can't raise this kid. It's scared to death of you. I got this way, saving your ass from that hellhole. And I would have left you to rot if I'd known what you were. Jane, Kenny loved Sarita. Of course he did. He loves having anyone around that does what he says. That's why he loves this kid so much. It can't talk back yet. Fuck you. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. Fucking liar, that ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're going to end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. Jesus. You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you all right? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? If you're going, go now. Kenny... That fucking asshole. God! I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. I don't know how to get through to him anymore. I don't think we can. Clem. We could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck. I don't know how to drive. See that pedal on the floor? Step on it. Don't just... Jesus! Hurry! Get out! Jane! Hurry! Jane! 
wait! Jane? Kenny? You all right? Yeah. Where is he? Where's the kid? He's with her. You left him with her? Jane? Jane! Wait. Oh, thank Christ. Kid. Jane, where is he? What did you do? He's... What are you saying? No. No! No, not again. Not again. Clem, look at me. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. Okay? Just trust me, Clem. Stay out of what? You have to trust me. You're gonna see what he really is. you. Jane, don't. Just don't. I'm not letting this crazy fuck anywhere near me, Clem. I don't need permission. Don't you come near me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> 
Get the fuck uh, off! Fuck you! Stop! Let go! Jane! Asshole! Fuck you, Jane! Fuck you! Oh my god! This is all your fucking fault! Piece of shit! Just go! I ain't going nowhere! Fine. Kenny, can we all just talk? Just sit down and talk! Words ain't gonna fix this! Fucking kill you! Yeah, I think so. Clem. You made the right choice. I let you down. <coughs> I let everyone down. <laughs> Why did you make me do this? I'm sorry, Clementine. We almost made it. We were close, weren't we? <coughs> I thought I wanted this. Asked for it. So many times. Now that it's happening, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm afraid, Glenn. Why did you do this? I'm sorry, darling. I'm so sorry. Alive. I understand if you're upset. AJ was never in any danger. I was just going to try to talk you into coming with me. I just thought if you saw Kenny like that, you'd know we'd have to leave him. Look, Clem, I'm sorry. 
I didn't think Kenny would go that far. But it's over now. We're all safe. We're going to be okay. I don't understand. Kenny was dangerous. And I needed you to see that. One way or another. What are you saying? I had to do it, Clem. You saw how he reacted. I had to show you what he was capable of. It was a stupid plan. I should never have lied to you. But I thought it was the only way you'd see. Oh my god. Kenny, you have to forgive me. Please. We can just leave all this behind us. Please. I did it for you, Clem. For us. We're free now. I forgive you, Jane. Thank you. Thank you, Clem. You were right about Kenny. All along, you knew what he was gonna do. It's over now, Clem. Let's just put all this behind us. <laughs>